Hi, and welcome to how to integrate Salesforce with BBXer video tutorial. The first thing you need to do is to create a connected app in Salesforce. From Salesforce setup page, navigate to build a section and click on create and then apps. And under connected apps, click the new button. For the tutorial purposes, we will only enter the required information. However, you can fill out all information fields. Once you have entered the connected app name, API name, and your email, you need to check the box next to enable auth settings. This opens two additional fields we need to set up. First, enter a callback URL. In our case, it looks like this. Your callback URL will be exactly the same, except you will need to change prefix EU11 with your own unique prefix. You can check what your prefix is in your web browser. It can be 1 to 15 characters long and is unique for every Salesforce account. Next, under Auth Scopes, find Full Access and add it to selected Auth Scopes. Scroll to the bottom and click on save to create a connected app. Once you have created a connected app, open PBXer, select the desired tenant and navigate to settings CRM integration section. Click enable option to enable CRM integration services and make sure that CRM type is set to Salesforce. Enter the consumer key from the connected app you have just created in Salesforce. Follow the same procedure for the consumer secret. Go to connected app in Salesforce. Click to reveal and copy the consumer secret and then paste it into PBXware. Enter Salesforce login URL. Select desired log options and click save to apply the settings. To make sure that everything is set correctly, you can run a test. Enter your Salesforce username. And under password, you need to enter Salesforce password followed by security token. For example, if your password is demo45 and your token is CA78, you would need to enter demo45CA78 as a password. To get your security token, go back to Salesforce, open your user profile settings page and under personal menu, Find Reset My Security Token. Click on the Reset Security Token button and the security token will be sent to your email. In your email inbox folder, you should see a new email from Salesforce with your token. Copy and paste security token together with your Salesforce password. Set log call to yes and click on Run to perform a test. If you have entered all your information correctly, you will get the success message and it will tell you that the call has been logged. Thank you for watching this video and if you need more help, be sure to visit Bicom Systems Wikimedia page.